All right, welcome back, folks, to our fourth and final segment of the Soup video series. Uh, we're here in Bedside Studios, of course, and with me is Len Milne. He's the proprietor and the producer, and pretty much he built it, really. The, uh, look around, folks, all this stuff here, he put it up by hand. One tiny little hammer, this big, <laughs> and boom, boom, boom. And the nails were that big. And the nails were this long. So it was, it was, it was I, 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 I helped, I'd hand him the nails. <laughs> In the whole one song series, so far we've recorded, well, it's so over, well over 60 songs, right? Yeah, I would think so, yeah. Uh, yeah, 10 to 15 hours of averages, you know, per song, somewhere less because it's just a, maybe a piano and a vocal or something like that. Yeah. But some of the ones with the bigger productions where you're getting into drums and usually when you get into drums, bass, guitars and various keyboards and... Uh, you know, harmony overdubs and stuff like that. Then you're getting into 10 to 15 hours for a song. And all the editing to make me look good or sound good. Because yeah. half the time, they just, he says, he's just rolling on the floor laughing at what I just did. And then, you know, so that's, uh, you know, it's, it's a long process. And Len produced all the, all the songs. Uh, and he played uh, lead guitar. He did a lot of the guitar solos. So this, actually, this guitar is the only one that I own. Well, and the basses. But this guitar... It was used on a lot of the rhythm tracks, and as you can see, the guitar and I. See this pose? That's, that's, that's me and my guitar. We do this all the time. And, uh, but the other ones are all part of Bedside Studios. That one Len used for uh, uh, a number of solos. That's kind of, it's an old Epiphone. It's beauty. And over here, it's yeah. It's a Fender, yeah. Yeah, it's a real Fender Mexican, Stratocaster. Mexican-made one. Mexican-made, but it's really good guitar. Uh, I love strats for rhythm. Very, very nice, clean sound. Uh, and, and I used that Gibson SG on a few, and Len used this one. This is a beauty guitar. There's nothing that looks quite as nice as a Gibson SG. Look at that. And Len used that for a lot of, uh, it's got a broken string. You have to ignore that, folks. Still here if you want to use it, but it's a beauty, beauty guitar. And then what I am by nature is uh, a bass player. I mean, I, I played the keyboard stuff on all those tunes. Well, we used an old Heinzmann piano that's here, and uh, the Hammond C3 that's over there in the corner, and the Hammond L111, right? And, and a Leslie. All that stuff is here in bedside. So people, if you have a project you want to get underway, well, it's all here. You just walk in the door and do your stuff. But this bass... This beauty right here, this is a 1970 Fender Precision Bass that I bought brand new with a case way back. I had it remodeled uh, or reconfigured with this pickup at the back to make it like a jazz pre because Barry Oakley from the Alma Brothers had it and I had to have the same as Barry because he was one of my heroes, great bass player. I just want to say to everybody out there that this is a great place to come, especially if you want to sound organic. Like, if you want to sound how you sound, then this is the place to come. Because Len will capture that sound for you. And you will leave sounding how you sound. Of course, if you want to sound, you know, kind of... Synthetic or, yeah. or modern, you can do that too. Yeah, it does, all, does it all here. We make beats here, we make, you know, all types of music, anything from death metal to, to blues music. Uh, we got folk music going on here, we got uh, bluegrass music, jazz albums. Now that we have grand piano, it kind of attracts some people to do jazz here. So pretty much everything you can think of, you know. Yeah, even choirs. New, old country styles, new country styles, yeah, choirs have been in here. Voiceovers. Voiceovers for various types of things. And music my grandma wouldn't listen to. Right. The music I don't want to listen to. <laughs> That's right. So that, there you go. Just a, a quick little glimpse at Bedside and what it's all about here. Bedsidestudios.com yeah. www.bedsidestudios with an S dot com. You'll find us. It's also in soup, in the back of the book and on the websites. You'll see a link to Bedside Studios and also to 
Polyphonic Studios to our good friend Scott Pinder who did all the mastering. Remember, Soup SYZ. Think Soup SYZ. Go to the website and you can see all of Bedside and you can see all of me and you can see lots about candy. <laughs> and James back there behind the video doing this. See, this is, the, this is how all this works, right? You think that this is like a three or four minute video. Actually, we spent 17 hours doing this. Uh -huh. He cut out all the parts that make me look like a fool and you only see the good part, which took 17 hours to get three minutes. We won't mm -hmm. even see that part. Yeah, this might be one of them. <laughs> this could be. This could you be might not even see this. <laughs> but I'm hoping you do. That's it, folks. So remember, take the plunge, buy the book, soup. That's what this is all about. This is our baby. I'd love it to become yours. Thanks a lot and hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> <laughs>